y'all. Welcome back to the channel. We out here um, detailing two Range Rovers. That's a 22 over there. That's a 2021. Um, they messed the bump up on this one. Kind of messed the pin up also a little bit. So we're going to fix it. Make it look good with just a little ingredients that I got in the bottle. Just this bottle ingredients is going to save them about three to five hundred bucks just on this one fender piece. So we're going to go to work on it. My son is going to hold the camera. Well, I'm tell him what's popping. What's popping? Welcome back to the channel. Got it going. So we're going to rub this stuff out like so. It hides the scratches and everything. The scratches are still there, but the faster you rub it, the quicker it disappears. And as you can see, just in this little bit of time, that right there is already about gone. On that fender piece right here. I'm gonna roll this right here. The scratches are still there, but it, like I say, it blended it in, so you really can't even see it. Just gonna roll it down like that. Rub up and down like that, back and forth. And as you can tell already, that's what the dealerships don't tell you. See, they're gonna do the same thing and charge you an arm and a leg for a new bumper when they just do something very simple. That's what I got. This ingredients right here will save you thousands of dollars and just an under amount of minutes. And it is gone. I can flip my bunny over and wipe it back off. Don't even have to use a rag. And voila. I can never been there. We still got some more right there. We're going to go back and put the wax on. And then after I put the wax on, it's going to look like a perfectly good bumper like it never happened. Now, since we didn't apply the compound on it to get everything out, now we're going to apply the next step, which is to bring the shine and everything back. I know it. Looks like it's shining on camera, but it is actually dull now, so we're going to restore the shine. My son is going to go ahead and put the wax on. This right here fully protects the car. This is actually the second time that this fender has been hit on the side, but if we hadn't put the compound that we're using in the wax on here, it would have been a lot worse than that because the car wouldn't have had no kind of protecting on it. Put that on. This stuff right here is so amazing, you don't even have to let it draw all the way out. You can just go ahead and put it on and take your rag and wipe it right back off. This is why we do so many Range Rovers. This is like the 20th Range Rover we did this week. But that's that. You see the shine? We're getting it done. Signing out.